Academy. Haas opens it up. High hopes and uh, considerable talent. The other problem for Haas has been trying to get out of that shadow of bars. Some more chances to get into the net more often. He's got tremendous ground strokes. Fit. See him clip the line there. His the freakiest injury was last year at Wimbledon. You know, hitting a few serves and a ball came from behind the court and hit off the fence. And the ball by didn't get it, which was a freak. Of course, was Mary Jo Fernandez talking with Haas before he took court for the warm up. Now it's Blake. His first point at the net. I like the what he's saying. Years here at the Open. Easily delivered that winning forehand. Well, the American Davis Cuppers are in Sweden. Broke his neck in an accident in Rome. Off the line. Blake has got more foot speed out there. He's got to have to use that to his advantage. It'll be interesting to see how he, well, who plays every week. And they wanted Blake, the local guy, needed him. Going high. So One of the reasons why Blake is going to get into the net more than Tommy is because he plays tight at the Voluntary Tennis Academy. Ever since age 11. And there's the hold for James Blake to two all. We'd like to. He really said that. <laughs> Tommy Haas was the number two seed and number two player in the world at that time. Pete Sapphers. And a long hold. He's allowed only three points in his three stadium court. James Blake, Tommy Haas, two three. No service break points as yet. Withdrew there with this stomach tear. It's part of the litany of injuries he, he's had. And well done by Blake. It's the key for Blake to use that incredible quickness he possesses to cut these balls off, make life easier for himself. And now courts are named after uh, James Blake in Fairfield, Connecticut. Try to over hit on their turn. Another ace. 122 is fifth. Get the lead. Did you like playing into the win? Well, as you know, I was such a sometimes overdo it like you did there. Coverage, huh? Good than it looked. And here's the old chip in charge. This is there. It's a good shot. Use Haas's pace. Here's that backhand to get a foul. Ooh, he just did hit the baseline. Yes, you know, if you're going to challenge a call, a call like this, you got to stop playing. Ball appeared to skid off the back of the line. That's why hot. Finalist in 2004 and last year, as was James Blake a year ago. Number Again, this is an excellent defense from Haas, nice and low. Look at Blake. That
perfectly timed. He's look, Blake has been much more forward in this match so far than Haas. Haas knew he was coming in and <coughs> a great return from Blake. Well, we're seeing some shot making. And here's this awesome return there. Hossett's a serve that he thought may win him the point. Instead, he's scrambling just to get the ball back. Some good speed on that slice back. And James Blake does convert. 78 U.S. Open, Jimmy, right here. First year was played here on hard. Good slice ace, and it's just use that speed to good effect. Well, that's tough it. to get him to push him in closer to the baseline. His tendency when things. And James Blake does have the opening set lead. 50s, but didn't hurt him in that last set. He won eight of the last 10 points. He, he, set, he set a very high bar, a very high. A fourth break point. And he's able to get himself in a position more quickly to hurt Tommy as he does there. Haas. For Haas. And look where he is. So again, Blake moves in. And uses this drop volley. He's hurt. Haas four or five touch. And there it is. Blake up a set. Up a break. He will be a force in this event. 14 of 17 points made at the net. He is this year. It's another ace. And the winner of this will meet either the fourth. Yeah. He beat Fabrice uh, Santoro. He's just feeling it. Every <laughs> everything working for this guy. His force is not moving well enough. And, and Blake is, is rushing him from everywhere, isn't he? Serving big, returning big. I like how Blake has been coming up to the net, and he's already won quite a few. Success at the net again for James Blake. Nine times down. Oh, oh, wow. oh, oh. hit that hard off the return. Unbelievable. Grass Stadium Court dedicated 10 years ago. Realizes that he better try to step up the energy level. At least this point, moving better than he's shown. Well, that's going to make him upset. He normally does a lot better with it. So just move in behind him. the line and that's for Tommy Haas's first break point. He's going to challenge it, but that was. No, well, Tommy Haas indeed with two break points. First chance to. It's two all in the second. Either Pasha, the 16 year old, or Chuck Badazzi, they played tonight. Well, couldn't power that one over the last to break again. 
One erased. That's nice. That's well done. You know, it isn't just a, to start that second set, and it's paying off now because now he's fully engaged. He's got his teeth into this match. Yeah, he saw how close Blake. Out of Blake. is taking the net again. Yeah, that's a nice move for Blake off. Look at this. He's off the court. And he sneaks in surprises, James. It's tall. Oz not convinced that hit the service line, but well, his brother talked about that the other night. About to be a seven. It's on the line. Set point save. Serve this out. It's easier Gosh. said than done. Just as Burditch earlier. So. And that's exactly what we'll have for you. As These players, hard to play your best tennis out there. He's gonna he's gonna challenge it. Look to skid off the line. It looked like it skidded a bit. And uh, you can see. for her. <laughs> That's two good moves into net by Haas. The court, he's got good volleying skills. He's an excellent all-court player if he, if he gets to... The second they match sets, they'll play best two or three. And it opens with an ace among his arm through as well. She's having a great couple of weeks. There's that backhand of Israeli, I should say, because then I'd be skipping Dick Sabbat. Who won this title? Joe Berger. He's had good runs here as well. Haas is down. Not out. You know, a set all is be discouraged because this is a fantastic shot from Blake. You, know, you tip your hat. You say, yeah, I don't think you can keep doing that. You know, Becker used to do this even on hard courts, but uh, Tommy Haas, with all of his injuries, should probably not do this too much. Pin that serve deep in the corner. Oh, so it's been a tough road. You credit him for still being this highly ranked. 
just low stage in his career, and he's playing well now. That's one there. <laughs> get, get me out of here. Anyway, Benetton and Mahood are up a set. And a set. Rally from the set down. And a breakdown. The other day. Mmm, that was sweet. They both really feel like doing stuff like this. They're, they both tend to be very swashbuckly, which is great when you're on. They both have big, daring strokes. Into the wind, just yeah. long. Especially their backhands. Yes. <laughs> Takes the lead in the third. Only an hour advances when Tomas Burdich retired. He was ill from the very start. I just think it shows how mad this game is. I mean, these, these are two of the best. <laughs> and Blake lasts the ace, his ninth. These are good, streaky guys. Yeah, clearly, it's evidenced by this matchup. Time he loses his edge. That's why he's become top rated player. Now it's Hossett's turn. Why you put the jacket, He just hit a great shot. And he wants to know why he, why do you put the chair so close? God, just remember what you just did here. This is beautiful. <laughs> so the return, the depth of the return that set it up forced Hassis to push the ball back to punish. We have in the fourth round. And if you like shot making, you're going to see more. But it's not evil. <laughs> Blake, I'm proud of that thing. commercial. That's a trip. Be patient, Mary. Be patient. <laughs> we'll get it. That clips the outside of the line, or so it appears. Thirty love. Play for two. Blake's lead here in the third. <laughs> Haas at two four here in the third delivers his eighth ace. Also, something you don't see very often for Haas. Man. <laughs> Guiding this. You can see what a difference it, it is when he gets. The ace to punctuate the game. It's 4 3. Tommy Hunts. And another love hole. Three of the four. Right winners on the return. Winner to meet the winner of this. No offense to Lopez, but I'm kind of already preparing for Roger. <laughs> he hit with a righty. He cannot hit returns harder than this. And there's that long step, a little bit lazy, perhaps fatigue starting to set in again for Haas. He started slow, got us together. Blake owns it to 
two sets to one lead. 6-3 here in the third. And what a life he led. Open. Three of starting this fourth set on his serve. He's again using that quickness to good effect. He's a little weary there towards the end of the third. It's going to be a tall afternoon here in the East. Get some belief back because he's played well and he's had his chances. It's a nice. A couple of body blows here. Blake decided, and he had time here to direct this away from Haas. He decided to go right at him, and Haas just stood his ground. They were open to him. I think he got a little tight, Mary, and he's. Blake to be not able to hit an offensive shot. Another. This is what helped him get in the second set, get that run to level the match, and this is what's saving him now. He's This would be a break back for Blake if it missed. Wait a second. It catches. Oh, oh That's a keen eye. Deuce. That is a winner back to Deuce. Diminishing returns. Not working. What a serve there as he kicks it on the sideline. Encouragement. Teaching. Do the, the opposite. Oh, what else? Against the wind's gonna float side. This is a chance for this to get some insurance. Oh, 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 spectacular! Oh my! Finally ended, decided by Blake. Had to make a couple of saves there until he got one more. That was a huge save, Mary, for oh, him. One breakdown. For being right, right back on it. I could have been just feeling good about the way he's playing. Another attack of the net gets him to desire. It's much better than taking those high risk swings. And there is the break again. So Tommy Haas in command. And James Blake leads Tommy Haas two sets to one, but Haas in control of this fourth set has a double break lead. Second set of their match earlier here in Arthur Ashe Stadium Court. Just like that, Haas two. Has advanced to the women's semis, or quarters rather, to the quarters. Mm. That second win is clearly kicked in for Haas. A 
Brazos waits in that corner. Well, Kemp caught the wind and went a lot shorter than he expected it to. Blake won the first three, but Oz the last time on carpet in Paris. Oh. How good is that? <laughs> Blake had to block that back, couldn't was putting much as much on it as he wanted to. It's a loud hop. Oz answered six four in the second. Take it early if he commits to it. How good is that? He's feeling it, especially on that backhand. See that ball of Blake's too short. And again, if you give him any. Oh! The set's over. Three times Blake broke players and. On the mountaintop here in the fourth set is Tommy Oz who starts this five love game with an eight way from a decisive fifth set. <laughs> That's fresh when we group here for the fifth set. Mm. Drop that one in the hole. There's another set point. Second round against Fabrice Santoro. The crowd is trying to energize Jim. And the third, Santoro, the second and fourth, and finally Blake prevailed 6 4 in the fifth. He did not do enough with that approach there. Easy 500 mark by beating Grosjean a couple days ago. That little bit tentative on this one. Played it safe. You see, he had extra spin to make sure. So they're both making their opponents hit winners, and that's what's happening so far here. And closer to the baseline and even inside it. And you can't get him. That was a tremendous game from Haas. Seven straight. Feeling on the part of Blake that Haas has just raised his game to its highest level. Yeah, absolutely. He was playing superbly these last three. Nice margin on his ground strokes, too. Look at this. Now he's confident enough to be serving. As we saw in the opening set. This is a great return, though. He was well handled by Rhodes the last couple of years of his career to do this more often as he hits another ace. Fourth last set. They don't. This set lined up at 6 0. Come on, Second serve ace. This is the. This is the last set. This is it to get into the quarterfinals of the U.S. Open. It's a long oh, you on serve and on your opponent's serve. Trying to break this string of eight straight games to Haas. Number of those throughout this match. Basically, all oh. Haas has got to do now is hold. It's open. This is just another unbelievable in the money right now. Aces in this game. <laughs> That's what you have to do right now. Yes. Of course, 
course, it is a partisan Blake crowd. And play like that from Tommy Haas is muting. Keep it going just the way it is. It's just too good. It's not a short ball that Haas hit. The matches that he's played in the last few weeks. Just to Thanks, Thomas. Good luck. Thanks. Thomas Blake Jr., a couple of years older than James. Get down on yourself at this point. You're up 3 1. You're playing great. Blake had to hit an awfully tough shot to win that point. Has tightened up that little bit, and Blake is. That's a good job again, not going for too much. He has been sparkling at the net, Tommy Hines. He's forced to hit off the back foot. Blake is up too high. He, didn't, he wanted to get it lower. Five set win in his outstanding career, and Blake at 2 4. So this is even more impressive to me than anything about the way he's doing it outside of his comfort zone. He's taking the net, he's doing all the right things to try to ensure that he can. Wonder, Dick. That's incredible. <laughs> little, had to make it up a little bit here, Blake. <laughs> But the nice thing is, not only does he spike this one for the winner, but then he shows that he's still got something left. Now he's asking for the. See how still by an inch or two. He got a little bit hesitant. Blake lifted his game to his credit. And you don't want him to think that he hasn't. Yeah. 30 all. Guys were trading vicious ground strokes until finally Haas came in and standing out for these two. Feet. They needed that big time. the point to be over. And Blake did well to get this back, force Haas to hit another big shot, which he did.
are just massive. All this pulling for Blake. <laughs> Look at that. Nails it. Beautiful. Remember at the U.S. Open, there's a tie break in the fifth. Try this at home, but it won't work. I can assure you of that. This... Oh, it's a good that's, play to move sexy. Yeah. that's so bold. Antithetical to what Tommy Haas normally does. He surprised Blake by coming in. Blake on the run only then realized he had to hit a. of Haas with the double fall and then he got tight before and when the crowd made all that noise and he looks up Digging in your bag of tricks. Unbelievable speed and effort from Blake, but this shot making from Haas. How big is that? Let's get in. Oh, well, he's going to challenge it. Call it a baseline. <laughs> you talk about hanging by a thread. He's going to challenge now. That was called in. The in call on the far side line. This is getting crazy. If this hit the line, Tommy Haas has advanced to the final eight. <laughs> <laughs> they're both they're staring at each other. Here's the chase review. It's good. Haas has won. Right. Match. The match of this championship in New York, and Tommy Haas prevails. Seven points to four in a tense tiebreak final.